So how much protein do you really need and how much is too much? Well, of course, there's all sorts of opinions out there. Of course, I have mine, but I'm going to leave my personal opinions aside in this video and share some information from one of the top researchers in the world on the subject of protein intake. Now, Dr. Jose Antonio is a good friend of mine, but more importantly, he is a renowned expert in the field of sports nutrition and exercise science. Now, Dr. Antonio is also a professor down here in South Florida at Nova Southeastern University in the Department of Health and Human Performance. He's also the co-founder of the ISSN, which is the International Society of Sports Nutrition, which is a nonprofit academic society made up of the top researchers in the field of sports nutrition and supplementation. Now, Dr. Antonio's research has been pivotal in debunking some of the long-held beliefs about the negative impacts of protein consumption. So with that being said, let's start off with some of his thoughts on eating too much protein and some of the health consequences. One of the things we've focused on in the last four years is the effects of high protein diets on <clears throat> on body composition and on health because you and I've heard for I've heard this since I was in as an undergrad how how horrible protein can be for your kidneys and and you name it it's bad for your bones and now imagine this you're a prehistoric human and you haven't eaten in a day which probably is quite normal you catch an animal imagine the conversation well you can't eat more than 30 grams of protein because it's bad for your kidneys oh but I'm starving if you're a starving human being, there has to be a mechanism to consume a lot of calories. From an evolutionary standpoint, it makes sense that you should be able to consume a large amount of protein and organ foods without taxing your liver, your kidneys, etc. The ironic thing is there have been very few studies that have looked at athletes that have consumed high doses for a long period of time. And this observation is one of the things that spurred him on into filling some of the gaps in the research. One of the studies that Dr. Antonio and team conducted was a one-year crossover study examining the effects of a high-protein diet on both health markers as well as body composition. In the study, 14 healthy males who worked out regularly consumed 3.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. So if you were to do the conversion, that's about one and a half grams of protein per pound of body weight. So for someone who's my size, about 175 pounds, that would be about 264 grams of protein. Now to put that in perspective, the RDI for protein is 0 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So that would be about 140 grams of protein for that same 175 pound individual. So we're talking about nearly double that amount. And over the course of a year long study, they found no negative effects on measures of health, including blood lipids and kidney function. And what I think is equally interesting is despite a higher overall energy intake, participants still did not gain any additional fat mass. Now they saw the same thing in an earlier study where participants were taking in even more protein. They were taking in 4.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So imagine you're consuming two grams, uh, two grams of, of protein per pound body weight, which actually is difficult for most people to do. And that initial study we did, the results were actually kind of surprising because get this, nothing happened. They didn't gain fat, they didn't gain muscle, and we didn't change their training. So it wasn't like train this way and eat this way. It was like, just eat a lot of protein. In this case, whey protein. We'll give you as much whey protein as you want. And these people were doing downing four or five extra shakes a day just to hit their protein limit. Nothing. So the, it's, people say, can you get fat or eat, overeating on protein? And my answer is actually, it's extremely difficult to get fat eating protein. The, the cool thing about protein is the more you eat of it, it seems like the more you oxidize it, meaning you're, you, you know, the thermic effect of protein, as you've heard of, you start expending a lot more energy. So it's almost as if you pour protein in and energy expenditure goes up. So long story short, individuals who are healthy, who work out regularly and consume a high protein diet don't seem to have any potential health risks. So the real question is, 
How much protein should you be eating in a day? Well, the answer really just depends on who you are, what activities you have, and what your goals are. So going back to our example of the RDI only being 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight, that's for a relatively inactive person. But in this conversation, we're talking about individuals who are more active, maybe they're playing sports, or maybe they're in the gym trying to build more muscle. And in that case, your protein requirements are going to be much higher. Now the ISSN has a published position stand, which was co-authored by 22 of the top researchers in the world on sports nutrition. Now this details the society's recommendations on protein intake. And for your average active person who works out, the recommendation for protein is about 1.4 to two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. As far as how much to take at one time, you wanna aim for roughly 20 to 40 grams per serving. Now ideally, you wanna get most of your protein from whole foods if possible, but protein supplements are not only safe and effective, but they're also convenient. Now I know I said I would leave my personal opinions aside in this video, but I'll leave you with this one thought. If there's no risk to taking in a high protein diet and only benefit to doing so, then the real question is why wouldn't you? But hey, that's just my opinion, my philosophy. So hopefully you took something away from this video. If you liked it, please give it a like, I'd appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to get more videos just like this one. I'm James Grage, and I will see you next video.